As you ready yourself to listen to God's word, find a stable and comfortable position. Straighten your back. Put your feet flat on the floor. Let your hands rest loosely in your lap. Close your eyes and become aware of your breathing, allowing it to flow naturally. Feel the quiet and warmth of the space around you as you prepare to hear scripture. Listen to the Gospel of Hebrews, chapter 4, verses 1 through 16. Therefore, while the promise of entering his rest still stands, let us fear lest any of you should seem to have failed to reach it. For good news came to us just as to them, but the message they heard did not benefit them because they were not united by faith with those who listened. For we who have believed enter the rest as he has said, as I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter my rest, although his works were finished from the foundation of the world. For he has somewhere spoken of the seventh day in this way, and God rested on the seventh day from all his works. And again in this passage he said, They shall not enter my rest. Since therefore it remains for some to enter it, and those who formerly received the good news failed to enter because of disobedience, again he appoints a certain day, today, saying through David so long afterward in the words already quoted, Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. For if Joshua has given them rest, would not have spoken of another day later on. So then, there remains a Sabbath rest for the people of God. For whoever has entered God's rest has also rested from his works, as God did from his. Let us therefore strive to enter that rest, so that no one may fall by the same sort of disobedience, for the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and of spirit, of joints and of marrow, and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. And no creature is hidden from his sight, but all are naked and exposed to the eyes of him to whom we must give account. Since then, we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God. Let us hold fast our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find the grace to help in time of need. This is the word of God. Hebrews chapter 4, which has just been read, centers on rest. The believer ceases his efforts to gain salvation by his own works and rests in the finished work of Christ on the cross. Do you see the parallels between Christ's temptations and your own? 
Have you experienced the rest that is spiritual and eternal? Do you find earthly rest in changing your routine on the Sabbath? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, guide us this day, this week, and during this season of Lent to experience the rest that only you can give. Open our eyes to see how you made the ultimate sacrifice in order that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Amen.